This is Premier League Dance on Sky Sports. The greatest year of his life. One of the best in the business. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Fantastic, James Wade! Pure box office. The machine. Oh, you need to get back the match. Clinical. MVG Green. Well, is yeah. there a message there, John Park? Well, yeah, his uh, impersonation, his substitution even <laughs> for MVG is continuing. 
And uh, maybe this is a message, I will displace you as world number one. <laughs> but you have to think, he's feeling fantastic right now, and why not? What a performance last week. It doesn't get any better a week where you average 119 and win the UK Open. Perhaps the World Championship, maybe. Well, it, it just, I think it, what it really just opens the door to winning so many more things. Who's won more tour events this year? Nobody than this guy. Listen to this crowd. Imagine what it's going to be like in our last match of the evening. Gary Anderson makes a walk on. It's going to be absolutely epic. Yeah, well, Gary is something special himself, and he really does get treated well here. Dear John, let's hand over to Rod Harrington and Nigel Pearson. Thank you, Dave. Yes, this man in the form of his life. Thank you, Peter Snake by first right. Is James the now, first. the Game new on. UK Open champion. Many congratulations to him for that. In the context of the Premier League, big, big performance last week from right. 7-2 against Adrian Lewis, 119 and a half average, beating the previous best televised no, record average for MVG, hit 123.4 in Aberdeen last year. Something special here in Glasgow tonight, I'm sure. In the current league table, Peter Wright. Currently uh, top of the table after Phil Taylor's defeat in that first game of the night. So well, form of his life, Rod Harrington. Yes, he certainly is, and I agree with John Park when he said, I think that UK Open will be the first of many. He's finally got over the line, and uh, we all know, as dark players, the confidence that gives you just to, to edge out players. Well, and, you know, and grind the result out. He's, he's absolutely playing exceptional. I mean, most of his games, I think all his games in the UK Open were all over the 100 average. And he's just was doing Safety. the right thing at the crucial times of games and you know, that was when you you win 7-4 all of a sudden you look at it analysis and you think well it weren't that good but that's what great players do they seem to win comfortably yeah just one defeat in the premier league so far for snake bite for james wade his first defeat of the season came at exeter last week 7-5 defeat at the hand of Dave Chisnell. Chizzy had a dream night in Exeter, winning both his games. Played twice because of the absence of Michael Van Gerwen. Double 18 here for Peter Wright for a break of throw and a 1-2-1 finish. 103. He's going to be back anyway because Wade's not on a finish here now. I said so many times that double nine, not the best double on the dartboard. Let me go two double eight. He's going to do that a few times, but he's going to go straight for that double nine. Oh, it's it's the there. And if we it's doubted it. whether he was going to turn Seven up and be in great form, well, the 13 dart leg to open up his match against James Wade has certainly sent the message out, and it's against the throw as well. Yeah, perfect start for Peter Wright, a man bang in form right now. Backing of the Glasgow crowd here at the Hydro. It's a magnificent venue. And James Wright knows, uh, James Wade knows he's up against it here after that defeat at the hands of Chizzy last week. Still in the uh, bigger picture. Six points from his five games, couple of draws along the way for Wadey. 100. What a crowd, what an atmosphere here. That's incredible, Nigel. When you stand on that stage and you look up, and, and the, the top tier, it must be 60, 70 yeah. metres above ground level. It's incredible. Look at that. What an arena. Uh, some of these are modern-day arenas are truly remarkable. The Premier League. Leeds, of course. Fifth. Dublin. Fantastic arenas. James Wade just not in the rhythm yet. 133. Vital trouble 19s though. Just put some pressure on Peter Wright. He could do with a big score here. Gonna come down slightly. 60. Well, certainly Wade's got a chance to get the throw back. Doesn't need to take this out because he's gonna get six darts from 170. 
no bullseye with the third. Oh, 25 is okay. Oh. Come back with another 25 for double top. And Peter Wright, all he can do. This is probably the le the worst leg we've seen him have for a, a good few weeks, to be Six. quite honest. Can't find a treble, Peter Wright. Got the 25. He needs tops to level. First time of asking, no problem for James Wade. He breaks back. One leg apiece, much more like it from the machine. But for Peter Wright, yep, a blip. Couldn't find a treble there. Well, you know James Wade, he'll never what? give up. He's one of the few players that can just play that dartboard. He doesn't care who he's playing or what crowd he's in front of. He will just keep pounding away. However, his match last week, I have to say, I've never seen him miss so many doubles. 135. Chisnell beat Barney and then Wadey in the last game. Yeah, this man, winner, eight years ago now of this Premier League. Beat Mervyn King 13-8 in the final. Phil Taylor topped the table that year, but Wadey was the champion and went on to a second successive Premier League final. 2010, where he lost to Phil Taylor 10 8. But a good CV, James Wade. Started well as a youngster. Some majors under his belt very early on in his career. Yes, and the one thing he's done in this Premier League is put points on the board early. So the pressure's not really on him like you know, Klassen and Hybrex. Of course, that. Two point up for Adrian Lewis against Phil Taylor has pushed him. And now Barney is back in the relegation. So it really is crucial that Barney gets minimum one, maybe two points to help him out. Yeah, a huge win for Lewis tonight, and two huge wins for Chisnell last week in Exeter. How it can turn the table around. Now, Wade, can he take this? Treble 20 would leave the double 12 here. He's got the treble, needs the double for 2 1. And he invites Peter Wright Eight back. Can we have a third straight break of throw in the early stages of this one? 16 for tops. Two darts in hand for Peter Wright. Oh, he's dipped low. Oh, that time, that time, Peter Wright. 2 1 he leads. Nobody's held their throw yet in the three legs of this match. Yes, and that 104. I quite fancy James Wade hit the double 12. He's so good what at those hundred. checkouts. Around the 100 mark. The miss. Peter Wright a second chance. And I have to say, both players not well, really firing on all cylinders, especially Peter Wright. We expected. Especially after the first leg, a nice little 13 dart leg. I'm thinking, here we go. But last Saturday night, he, he well, came off the board 32. and he, he said he weren't happy with the way he's playing. So he went and practiced at 11 o'clock at night. That's incredible dedication. Well, it paid dividends, didn't it? Worked hard. 99. Worked hard on Sunday night against Gil and Price. Pushed hard for every single leg. Battled through. And a worthy winner of that UK Open title, I think. 60. I think anybody can argue with that. Plenty of room there. Switched across, but couldn't find the treble, so... Right with an opportunity to really put pressure on now. Good second dart for Peter Wright here. Nicely done. And the pressure is on James Wade now. Oh, and now he needs the treble 18. Finds it. The red bit in the middle of the dart board. Oh, it's just on the south side. However, Peter Wright may only get one dart at the double. So Wade's not dead and buried yet, but what a crucial leg. It's actually worth two legs, this one. It's double top. Well, he's dipped well below it. He's annoyed at that. And the opportunity is there for James Wade again here now. Two darts in hand, double ten he needs. Thought it was in, didn't he? 
double five. Oh, he's got Spencer. below. Thank you. And now the opportunity for Snakebite for a two leg cushion here. No problem. That time he gets it right. Peter Wright, 3 1 up. And the first leg of the match where it goes with throw. Well, why did he it on? He was last week missing doubles, which is not like James Wade. It's the, oh, the strongest part of his game. That's why you, know, you see James Wade from 96 to 98 averages winning games. Well, his opponents have 100 averages against him because he does not miss too many doubles. But 20%. And we would say that was very low for Peter Wright at the moment. But it doesn't frighten us. On the James Wade average because he does that so often and wins games. Still waiting for a 180 in this match. Safety. He went everywhere by the trouble there, didn't he? James Wade has missed four darts at a finish. That's why Wright has that two leg cushion Amazing. here. The throw, the release of the machine. Kim Hybrex and Michael Van Gerwen. Next up, after this, again, Snakebite struggling for the treble. 91. 17 route. Yes, he can't get the first dart right, Nines, can he? And I've, I don't think I've ever seen so many darts of Peter Wright's going low, but is this going to be. He switches those 19s. He needs to get this first dart in the right position. I don't know if he's not throwing it hard enough. He needs to get it up. Just a bit of a lack of nice power in the, in the action of Peter Wright this evening. 20 would leave tops for Wade. Topsy needs. Well, he's making is hard work of this, isn't he? That's five missed darts at a finish now for Wadey. This would be some party piece from Snakebite. The showman gets the treble. Single 18 would leave tops. One dart in hand for tops for a 4 1 lead. Oh, brilliant! That's how it's done. Middle of the bed. And the man in form, Peter Wright, rocks into a 4 1 lead. I believe that's three legs on the trot where James Wise actually had a dart and a double. Again, maybe he's up against the ropes. Peter Wright just on the 95 average. It's not the top of his form, which we expected. Perhaps there is a bit of a hangover from the weekend. Well, it's now 119.5, is it? Well below that, but to be fair, you can't expect that every week, can you? Whoa. Or can you? Yes, yes, we <laughs> would like that, if you don't mind. <laughs> well, one of the flyers every evening playing <laughs> exceptional. Be interesting to see how Michael Van Gogh in. Comes up a little bit later. Yeah, straight after this game, actually, and he'll be yes, raring to right. go. You can be sure of that against Kim. Disappointed to miss last week in Exeter. There you see it. Hybrex and Van Gerwen coming next. Well, and still we wait for the first 180 of this match. A Dutch darting battle. The week before Rotterdam, Jelle Klassen and Raymond van Barneveld who's been dragged back into the battle to beat the drop. Whoa. And Dave Chisnell and Is Gary Anderson one last one up seven. tonight. Can you imagine what the atmosphere will be like for Anderson's walk-on here in Glasgow? 90. I think Michael Van Gogh might get a, a good reception from the Scottish Whoa. crowd as well. Well, it's like Dublin, as is Barney. Every time Barney's up in Scotland, I seem to love him. Peter Wright, 20 for double top. You know, he's been low on the tops. This evening so far, that was a better dart. However, it's still missed. Yes, right, right. Going above the target there. Now, treble 19 for Wadey. Leaves double 12. Kennedy appears to do the hard work. Can't quite finish it. Right for tops for 5 1. That's a decent marker, isn't it? Can't ask for much more than that. There you go. There you go. 
5-1. It looks convincing for Peter Wright. He's one leg away from ensuring he will not be beaten here in Glasgow this evening. 96. James Wade has to win this leg. Wade is Mr. 104, 164 and 141 on the checkouts. The leg, two darts, double top, or dart at double top, dart, double ten. So, there's four legs. He's missed darts at doubles. And against Peter Wright at the moment, well, there's not a lot of pickings, and he's going to leave you. So, you've got to take him out. Yes, it's nothing spectacular. Average is very similar. Snake bites up by a couple of points. 7 for right and James Wade really needs to get some legs on the board even if he is to lose this legs difference can be decisive when it comes to qualifying for the top four and indeed at the other end of the table the story of the finishing stats there's the difference tells the story six missed starts that are finished for James Wade costly so far and Peter Wright on the verge 105. Lead. Snake bite now. Travel 19. Now he needs the ball. Went to the wire. Andrew by 100. Well, Wade is not at the top of this game, but you fancy to have at least a 12. Now two darts at the double top. Will he finally hit it? Again, he's low on the double top. The double yeah, ten bow comes to his aid right at the end of and his left arm. However, that was with throw. Needed to be against the throw to give him a real big chance of getting himself back in this match. Yes, and his legs difference Safety. now, James Wade, in the league table, is level. And when it comes to the battle for the top four, as I said just a few moments ago. 170 decisive. Now, superb, much more like it from James Wade. Eighty-three. Peter's just getting a bit frustrated with himself, isn't he? Can't work out why he keeps wasting darts. Say in the first match against Asian Lewis, Phil Taylor missed more big numbers than I've I've ever seen him play the way he two points on the board. Is this the first maximum? Well, we had Dave Chisnell two weeks ago, had a match without a 180. It's the first time for eight years. And I would imagine it's nearly the same for Peter Wright. A match without a 180, not heard of. Yeah, Wright's hit 18 in the Premier League so far. This is sixth outing. James Wade's hit 11. Peter won't care about that if he gets two points on the board tonight. That's the most important thing for him after the week he's had. Dominated the headlines in the darting world. And quite rightly so. 83 needed for Peter Snakebite right here in the Premier League in Glasgow. 16 root, he's hit the single, so needs the ball. Could be a big moment, couldn't it? Well, he missed it the previous leg, didn't he? Why he cleared up? This is all important because it's against the throw. A good 13 dart leg from James Wade, and all of a sudden he is seriously back in this game. Yes, he has a dart, and if he holds his throw here, 5 4, game on. And he's upped his game. Appreciably here. Nice turn 40. Peter still with work to do to get over the line. That oh, scoring improvement so. has taken Wadey above the ton average. And you don't see that too often, to be quite honest. So he really has up the last two legs. Looks like he's carrying on. He's starting to take the game to Peter. Oh, a bit of pressure now. Tighten the arm up or can. Snake bite, find the range, which is he's, he's all, all over the place, to be quite honest. 
Yeah, five one up. To then leave the door open and your opponent comes right back at you. Safety. Must play on your mind as a player, Rod. Well, sometimes when you, you get so far in front, you automatically think, oh, I'll just get over the line here. And all of a sudden, you know, the adrenaline just goes a little bit. And then your opponent, like James White has here, steps his game up. And all of a sudden, before you know it, you're the one who's under the cosh. And certainly James White has got Peter under a bit of cosh at the moment. Lovely setup from James Wade there, leaving 56. Nice switch for the treble 18 from Snakebite. Here's the moment for James Wade to get back to within one leg. Tops he needs. That's a good marker. Well, I would have thought the form he was on, I thought he was nailed on to hit him with that last dart. You never know what's around the corner in this game, do you? Well, this could hurt. Two darts, a double top for James Wade. It's a 174 snake bite. He wants the ball's eye. He's had two attempts already in this match. Can he finally third time lucky? Oh, well. I think they call that a whiting cricket night. Went to Edinburgh. Goodness me. Tops for Wadey. Now, this is a big shot. Double five needed. And he gets it. Pressure was on there, big time. Right. Nine legs of darts. And this is a huge leg for Peter right now. Can he secure at least a point? Is it time for the first one? 80. Right on cue. Thank you very much. for Peter right nine one forties a piece it just it's it just the tongues but all of a sudden it's like a London bus you don't get any for ages and all of a sudden two come along Peter Wright is on a nine heart leg and after all what's happened to him in the last seven or eight days this would not surprise me and what a place to do it Nige. the Scott in Glasgow Beats treble 20. Now he needs to go and win the leg. Simple as that. Wins the leg. He's guaranteed a point from this match. Good last start. Very, very good last start. Don't underestimate the pressure that he was on there to just tidy it up. Now, for a point at least. Gets the nine, needs double 16. Double eight. Well, he's going to be back anyway. Well, you could see the expression on his face. He couldn't believe that it was that far away. Frustrated, wasn't he? Yeah, however, James White's going to give him another three. 105. At the double. He's here at last 16. Doesn't want to mess around again. He does not want to let James Wade come back for the 96. Chasing doubles all round the dartboard. Oh, what a double two. Get out of jail with the last dart. Take a deep breath, Peter Wright. <laughs> Talk about doing it the hard way, Rod. Goodness me. Well, especially the way he played that leg, two 180s. There's the league table as it stands. Peter Wright goes top with that guaranteed one point. Uh, Chisnell yet to play. And we have it at the bottom. Barney. He will be up this evening. He needs a win. And Van Barnabas. Bordering on relegation. Extraordinary. Ibrex and Van Gerwen to come after this. Peter Wright did actually go top. Before the start of this game, after Adrian beat Phil, Phil's leg like difference went down to plus four. Peter started this game at plus six. So uh, he had gone to the top on seven points. Now he's got eight. Can he make it nine? Sixty. It's one of those games, Rod, isn't it, where you have to grind out a result? 
Yes, and uh, well, this man James Wade knows how to do it. And certainly, Peter Wright over the last two years, he's learning very well. This is going. Oh, look at that on his face. Oh, well. That was a little bit of adrenaline. Driver picks the third. Yeah, really slack last start for Peter Wright. Sixty-five. Looking to tidy it up here to win the match. Well, I like the last dart of James Wade's. Gives him a guaranteed dart and a double to the ball. However, he might not come back. Double top for the match for Peter Wright. Again, low on the tops. He's done that so often this evening. Yeah, it's gone below. Could have won the match there. 16. Leaves tops away, one dart at tops. Gets it, gets it. Comes up to the crowd after they booed him there. Right, is this Peter Wright's opportunity now? He has the throw. That's a great start. Can he follow it up? Well, the treble would do him nicely here for a 140. Has to settle for the ton. Straight tons may not be enough because when James Wade gets down to just over the ton, it's just as likely to take it out and nick a draw out of this match. And Peter Wright, I think, will be disappointed with having total control. What, 5 1 up? He needs to find a couple of troubles and he needs to do that on at least two visits. Well, that was brilliant. But look at this from Wadey, he's not giving up by a long, long way. What the trouble of doing here? Oh, 81. Snatched at that. Needs to come down for the red bit. Up for the red bit. 60. Well, the chance is still here for James Wade. He can still rescue this. But not if he doesn't hit the treble, he's not helped himself there at all. No, the previous three, he could have got away without the uh, treble, but he couldn't with those three. But Peter Wright, I've never seen him so far Six away three. from the treble with some of his darts. Big score needed for Wade. Another one of those needed. 100. Well, this would be some way to win the match, wouldn't it? He's taken out a 1-1-5 already tonight. Needs a treble. It's better. Stays up the board, leaves 52. He didn't even, did you notice, he didn't even go for the treble. Didn't want to come back for double six and then split that in threes and chase around the dartboard and let James Wade in. Now he's got two darts at his favourite double to finally wrap this match up for a 7-5 win. Double 16 for Peter Wright. Brilliant from Peter Wright in the end. It was a hard-fought battle. And the Scott wins in Scotland. Peter Wright takes it seven legs to five. He's top of the Premier League table. And coming shortly, it's Kim Hybrex and the return from injury of Michael Van Gerwen.